Welcome back. The time is 627. Joining us this morning, we have Dr. Rob with the Big Sky Pet Center. So good to see you, Dr. Rob. It's been a while. It has. Thank you for having me this morning. Of course. Always great to see you and catch up. So let's talk about overall pet and health wellness. I think this is really something people could should even take into consideration before they bring a pet into their home. Do you feel the same exactly. way? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, definitely our pets are living a lot longer um, and, and getting well into their teenage years, both cats and dogs. And so I think people need to be kind of planning ahead for these things. Uh, it's no longer just a, a six or seven year commitment. It can be 15 up to 20 years commitment for some of these pets. Mm -hmm. And a big thing for us when we got our black lab, hi Annie, I know she's watching at home, um, <laughs> was I researched and researched food. I heard that there can be terrible food for dogs and if you want them to live a long life, you better invest. Right. And it would be nice to say there was one food that fit every single individual. That isn't the case. Um, it takes a lot of research. Um, there's probably some breed specifications and the size of your pet. Um, those types of things all need to be taken into consideration. But feeding a high quality food is going to go a long way. I, I think we've probably missed out on nutrition um, in a lot of ways, even in our own personal lives. And so there's, there's a lot to be said for great nutrition for your pets. And speaking of nutrition, something that goes with that is health and exercise. We need to get those uh, those babies out a little more. They need that exercise and movement. Yes, I think we kind of think about these older pets. Uh, you know, I've got a 16 and a half year old here now who uh, he, he has a hard time getting around, but just a small walk daily really makes a big difference for how he gets around overall. And then um, his his overall mental uh, capacity or, or just well-being, just getting out and sniffing the fresh air, um, you know, doing what dogs do out there. Uh, I think it, it's good for him uh, from that, that means too. Mm -hmm. And that interaction with uh, people and other dogs is so important, but how often should we be taking our pets in to the vet to get a checkup? Well, we say at least once a year. Um, as they get older, we know they're aging faster. You know, the seven years to one year rule of thumb still applies. And so, you know, you and I probably wouldn't visit the vet, or excuse me, our doctors uh, every 20 years. We'd probably go in, you know, sooner than that. So a lot of these older pets we talk about maybe coming in every six months just to stay on top of things, uh, talking about disease processes, you're going to know your pet better than anybody else. Um, watching out for them drinking excessive amounts of water, maybe uh, not uh, having some pain or discomfort when they're they're laying down. Maybe they're putting on excessive weight, um, urination problems. There's a lot of things that uh, we need to discuss with owners and make sure their pets are at top of their health as they get older. And that's really good perspective. I mean, we frequently take ourselves in for checkups and to see the doctor anytime something strange happens. And so we need to do the same for our lovely pets at home. Well, Dr. Rob, thank you so much. It was good to see you. Give uh, Monty a pet on the head for me and uh, we'll see you next time. Sounds great. Thanks, Victoria. Thank you. We'll be right back after this.